What's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Don't have my voice. I partied all night with my family at a wedding. Had a great time and didn't want to leave, all right? This is Stock Up. This is the Stock Up Jones Show. Come and join this family and make money. Hey, we're going to talk about crypto, but we're going to briefly talk about the overall market because they are actually tied. We know that the Fed said no more interest rate hikes, right? And there is a possibility of three reductions in 2024. Market loved that. The market went crazy and went well, right? What I want to tell you guys today that are in the crypto is that if you understand how the stock market work, you will perform better. If you made money and kept money last cycle, if you understand how markets work, you will actually perform better this cycle, right? So listen, this is brought to you by Stock Up You. It's going to be the top link below. Quit plan, get real, invest in yourself first, learn the markets and make more money. This cycle uh, that we are heading into at first, I believe that it was going to be tamed in comparisons to last cycle, but because of what's going on with all of these uh, spot ETFs, that may get may be getting approval as early as January, all right, less than a month, some of them, uh, then this could absolutely be an insane market that we are heading into. All right. So let's look at a few things that was going on. As we can see the stock market news, all right, today, this was yesterday. Dow hit records high, and which is really, really important. For those of you that don't believe that the stock market has a lot to do with the crypto market. I don't even know what to tell you because these are the same people that's going to be moving money over to a store of value or or what I call liquid gold or digital gold. Remember, I kept calling it Bit Gold instead of Bitcoin in 1919. I'm sorry, nine, sorry, 2019. See, I partied too hard. All right, let's keep this one short. Let's go to it. All right, we can see here how everything ended up, right? The Dow, uh, the NASDAQ. Now, what I want you guys that are into crypto to keep an eye on is the Russell. Uh, the Russell. Uh, there was a time that crypto was reacting to, or should I say Bitcoin was in lockstep with the NASDAQ, right? So, but we're going to keep an eye on the NASDAQ this cycle, but we're going to start keeping an eye on the Russell 2000 also too, small cap stock, right? We're going to keep an eye on that. So what I want to do right now is I want to play a video for you guys. And then we are going to look, you know what? Let's look at the crypto bubble first. As we could see, uh, crypto is doing well when you see more green than anything. Uh, someone asked me, hey, what do you think about boink, a <laughs> bunk? And um, I said, hey, it ran up. You know, it's on, uh, you know, it's getting added to more uh, um, uh, brokers now. And uh, because of that pop, I said it, it would probably cool off. I didn't know it was going to cool off this quick. Let's take a quick look at our top 10. We got Bitcoin. Look up down for the week but up for the month eth same thing right um let's go to solana solana is up for the day and up 16 percent for the month cardano look at this up for the day killing it for the month cardano is the win winner for the month look at that 63 percent then we got our doge down for the day but up for the month, Doge is killing it, right? I think I'm going to buy some Doge and then uh, 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 have a race between Doge and SHIB. As you can see, Doge for the week is, I'm sorry, SHIB for the week is about flat, but up 16%. Now, let's talk about, let's listen to um, this reporter on um, Bitcoin and the spot ETFs, okay? So let's just give it a listen. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is hovering near the 42,000 mark amid speculation the SEC will soon approve exchange-traded spot Bitcoin funds. And for its part, 
It's up 150% this year. Both of these are my next guests screaming buys for 2024. Joining me now for more is Jan Van Eck. He is the CEO of Van Eck. And it's great to see you again. Welcome. Thanks. Just take me, we, we haven't had a chance to, to touch base about this person. When did you get into Bitcoin? Because this is a really big thing for you and for the fund, for the firm and everything. Yeah, 2017. So okay. we were the first like ET, established ETF player to file for a Bitcoin was it related you, ETF. Your personal interest or what drove it? It was me, but you know, listen, gold, you know, my dad started the firm um, with the first gold fund in the United States. And so store of value investing is our, in our DNA. And I said, oh, man, what's this Bitcoin thing? And I knew about it, you know, and I said, well, you've got to do the deep dive. So I listened to the podcasts, read the white paper. And I said, no, this is going to be an accompaniment of gold. And, um, you know, when I try to talk to people who are so doubtful about Bitcoin, I said, listen, that was in 2017. It was three thousand dollars of Bitcoin. It's up 10x from now. It's just why are you surprised? Like, you know, remember China, like if part of large parts of China were completely undeveloped and uh, unindustrialized 30 years ago. But things change. Right. And well, so I think Bitcoin is the obvious asset that is growing up in front of our eyes. I guess the two uh, and I, I watch it and I, I concede that it actually has behaved remarkably like gold and some kind of store of value it, proxy. I can't quite fit put my finger on why, but you do think, well, there could always be some new thing that comes along. Bitcoin itself was innovative. There could be some new version of this down the road that takes people people's interest. And number two, the Jamie Dimon critique that it's all there's so much nefarious stuff associated with it that there's still a regulatory risk that, you know, stymies it. There's a lot of political risk around it. Absolutely. But what I say as far as something else coming along, there's 50 million users of Bitcoin. So it's got network effects. Um, I think that's impossible for me to imagine some other, what I call it, internet store of value that's going to get leapfrog Bitcoin. Um, you know, so that's number one. As far as the you know, criminality and all that kind of stuff, you know, listen, I, I, I don't, don't throw the first stone if you're associated with the bank or any financial institution that's never been involved with criminals uh, in one shape or another. I'll leave it at that. Let me steer it back to safer territory. How about okay. this? For 2024 in particular, and yeah. some have been scratching their head a little bit at the behavior of Bitcoin and gold because they're saying, are they are they trading off the real rates? Are they, what is it that they are trading off of? And what tells you that you think they're, if this is your, your gut, that, that Bitcoin itself will outperform this? Well, it's, it's the macro, right? So you just, um, the stores of value that don't generate interest, which is why the investors like Warren Buffett don't, don't like them at all. But they behave really in relation to interest rates, like you said. That's the big cycle. And interest rates are headed down, um, directionally speaking. So the macro behind Bitcoin and gold are, are, are very strong. By the way, they, they kind of do perform similarly. They both peaked in 2021. They've both been rallying this year. Um, obviously, Bitcoin way more than gold for, for different uh, But reasons. now that Bitcoin's grown up, and I promise I'll move on to other topics, but you know, if you look at gold's performance in the 2010s, it was OK. That was all obviously the low interest rate era. If you think we're going back to kind of low rates, has Bitcoin already made the big gains and now kind of treading water? No, because it's also it's growing up. Like I said, it's like a child that's growing up. And so so, I, you know, you can argue about it being a bubble. And what I say is no bubble. So it bubbled in 2017, but then it hit all time highs in 2021. So there's nothing has ever been a bubble that then has outperformed itself. And so. So you guys heard that, you know, um, <laughs> You know, uh, Jamie Dimon with the criminal thing, he has a point. There's, there's been, it's, it's old as Jesus with uh, using money. Um, uh, um, you know, it's old as the Bible, should I say. It, it's just using money for criminality and, and that type of deal. It doesn't matter which platform, which payment system. It's always going to be scams, right? Speaking of scams, don't get scammed, good people, with, with crypto uh, there is a, um, a scam video with XRP going around. Uh, the CEO of XRP, uh, the CEO of Cardano. These are scam videos uh, saying give money. Please don't give money. One of one of you guys gave money to one and said, could I help? That is a commercial that they're running. And I don't have anything to do with that. It is a fake commercial. There's going to be a lot of that now that crypto is running up. Uh, lastly. He talked about lower interest rates. Higher interest rates is what held crypto down uh, as long as it has been, of course. But crypto is doing what it's supposed to be doing in its cycle. Now, the timing is perfect because the crypto is actually starting to run as interest rates go down. 
and the Fed just said maybe three times next year that he will be going down and it's going to be in lockstep with the halving when crypto is pointing up, right? So what could happen even now? I, I will tell you guys, yes, I'm waiting for the crypto miners to cool off, but there still could be a push up now, short term, before they start to cool off. So I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm doing with all my crypto moves. Let me know what you're doing with your crypto moves and what are your crypto plans uh, for this cycle. For this year first and then long term secondly. All right. We're going to leave it right there. Uh, I'm calling this a Saturday short, but it ain't that short. <laughs> all right. Hey, don't forget. Make sure you click the top link below. Come join Stock Up You and come learn how to make money. I will keep you guys posted on all of this. I plan on making a lot of money. I plan on helping to make you guys a lot of money, but you got to stay tuned. You got to stay, uh, make sure that your select all bell is checked. Okay. So like subscribe and the notification bell and check it for all because crypto moves fast and it trades 24 seven. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Live, love, laugh and learn.